friends, Pastor James here, Dean of Canby Bible College. I had a student step into my office recently and say, hey James, uh, this class, I mean, it's way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not doing well, I'm not feeling great. And we had this interesting conversation about the idea of strategic mediocrity and comfort zones. So let's have that conversation now too, all right? Uh, it might be a little bit easier if I show it to you on the board. This is what you might call a student's comfort zone. But what happens? is that you enter a school environment and suddenly you get placed into a zone where you have to grow. We'll call that the growth zone. And it's this distance right here between what's expected of us and our current capacity that creates all the stress. But it's also what creates the growth. And we've got two options. We can try to press into this area or we can just stay in the comfort zone. There's a third area. That's called the danger zone. danger zone. Outside of the growth zone is this other area where the weight and the pressure of life is crushing. And you end up in a really difficult place where you not only fail, but you consider yourself a failure. Recognizing where you are relative to the boundary between the growth zone and the danger zone is pretty important to make sure that you're going to stay healthy over the long term. But the opposite inclination to draw back into the comfort zone when you should just press into the pain cave of the growth zone because here's what happens. There's something beautiful that occurs where suddenly your comfort zone expands to this area and now you're that much more competent, that much more able, that much more confident to be able to press into new challenges in the future with a greater degree of certainty that you've done hard things before in the past and now you've accomplished them and you're able to move forward. All right, so what does this have to do with strategic mediocrity? Anytime you grow, something usually has to die, especially if you're gonna enter a school environment that's gonna take a lot of your time. So you gotta figure out what part of your time that you're spending now doing something that you're gonna have to give up or simply just be comfortable being less good at. For me, I was in school for a long time trying to raise a family. I just decided that my front yard was not my highest priority, so I embraced, much to the frustration of my neighbors, a really mediocre front yard expectation. Just didn't care. Didn't mow it much, didn't water it much, and you know what it did? It saved me hours each week that I could actually focus on the things that I cared about. So you gotta figure out what that thing is in your world strategically mediocre at in order to make room for growth and the vital areas that will increase your comfort zone, give you greater confidence, and allow you to tackle the new challenges of life with a greater degree of confidence. Remember, no matter what happens, I love you, Jesus loves you more.